you you designed a class that has to do with um, submitting as an author illustrator, as an author of picture books. Um, can you tell me a, a little bit about what the need is that you saw when you were working with author illustrators at that point? And, um, you know, maybe a little bit about the class itself. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think one thing that might resonate with the author and illustrators in Courtney's class is that a lot of times there aren't classes developed for the author illustrator. A lot of times you either have to go to a writing class or you have to go to an illustration class. And as if for author illustrators, you have two sides of your brain. For many of us, we don't. It's just all <laughs> one. And so to separate it really is frustrating, um, you know, quite a bit because we think visually, we write visually. Um, picture books are a picture story and writers don't necessarily want to hear that, you know? They don't <laughs> want to think that their words don't really matter that much, you know, mm -hmm. when it comes to, to creating a picture book. Um, and so I think that the part of it that neither one of those types of classes create for the author illustrator is, but is it ready enough on both sides? I can go to a writer and I can ask a writer, is the story good? And the story is good. And I can go to an illustrator and say, is the art good? The art is good, but does it engage, does it work together? And so I wanted to, you know, create a space like that, that takes this seed of an idea that has been developed and then have the opportunity for the author illustrator to take it to the next level and ask that question without the high stake of it being an agent or editor and say, is it ready enough? And I think that um, um, finding that balance of when it's ready for submission is really hard. There's not a lot of spaces that help author illustrators with that. And so that's why I thought this class would be beneficial for people who do both um, so that they can understand, okay, um, this is the way that the text and the pictures are engaging. Um, this is what you know. I think um, I've worked on it as much as I can. Do you see where I can make it any better before I do send it out? And that's what we want to be able to help um, the creatives do when they come to us, is have the confidence to send a project out knowing that it is ready enough. And I saw that in quite a few students that I would um, meet during the crash course where it was just enough to say you just you just need to hone in on a b and c mm -hmm. and this would be ready to submit and i thought i think also what is very um interesting to me is most of the time when something is ready to submit is usually the author illustrator who keeps working on it and overworks it <laughs> and they just need a checklist of no this is why so it's time to let it go you know and move on to the next thing um so i want to make sure that author illustrators number one honestly because we do have a lot of ideas um are submitting the right story to the agent um and editors we have a lot of things that we're working on and we go back and forth and a lot of times we're like, oh my gosh, I have two or three great stories that I've illustrated, that I've thumbnailed. I don't know which one to send, which one is going to, you know, get their attention. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to help with that. I would also um, wanna make sure that when you go through those last steps of revision, that your story really has a heart and every choice that you've made in your story is a reflection of that pulse of that heartbeat um, and there a lot of times they're just little tweaks that we have to make to make sure that all of our choices serve the heart of the story um, and i do believe that that's what a lot of agents and editors are looking for is the heart work mm -hmm. um, or the soul work in the story something that they um, connect with and um, also this idea that it has to be perfect, 
that that the submission has to look like what you see on the shelves. And that's not the case because after you submit, you begin a new book with an entire team of people who want a book that isn't necessarily perfect, but ready enough. Yeah. I love that. I, and I love, so Brittany Thurman is teaching with you. Yes. And I think Brittany brings along um, a knowledge base in th like, you're talking about the heart and you're talking about the, the, the submission, the book, the story and her words, like each individual word I think is selected with like a little heart drawn, you know, around it. So uh, absolutely thinking of the two of you working together. And I know that in the class, you wanted to talk about those skills when it comes to that last line before submission, but you also wanted to talk about self a little bit too when it comes to submission. Yeah, definitely. Because I think that, especially if this is a career that you want, um, you have to cultivate yourself while you're cultivating your work. And you have to nourish yourself while you're nourishing your work. There's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of um, just pure anxiety to be able to land in the industry. But once you're there, what's going to keep you there? And it's those practices that you practice before you get there that are going to keep you creative, keep you from burning out, keep you um, present and I think that Brittany and I have had a lot of conversations about what we do for self-care um, as authors and illustrator. Also, I think that the heart work of your work can be, it, it, it can be hard on the soul when you really do share who you are on the page. And so protecting that to a certain degree um, in your normal day-to-day -day life. We want to talk about that. We want to talk about routines that you have, rituals that you have, ways to stay inspired. Um, and Brittany and I have kind of discovered that together through writing groups and conversations and um, just a lot of things that we've discussed throughout our friendship. So I think that that will be a fun conversation. Things that you, we can put in place now before you're actually published so that I I wish I had them pre-published because I, these are things that I had to do once I was published. Um, and I think had I had them in place beforehand, it would have been much more beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that resonates so much that, you know, when, if, if you really want to put your heart and put yourself on the page, there is, there's work that you have to do to, to get yourself prepared for that. So thank you. Uh -huh. And this I, is, this yeah, is great. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I would say, I think that that's what our children deserve. Mm -hmm. You know, our children deserve our hearts on the page because that's what, that's where we meet them. We meet mm -hmm. them in their heart. And um, I think that's our responsibility when we're writing for children. Yeah. That's beautiful.